Hey guys, I'm Andrew from the And End Network. Today's little topic is the tablet war that's currently going on. And there is only three tablets that I'm concerned with that I believe will actually do something here. Of course, there is the get the Zoom. Is the the Motorola Zoom is the first contender, I say. Here it is on Amazon.com. Uh going for six hundred dollars. Um it is a 32 gig uh, hard drive, which is good, up to 10 hours. Yeah, I've seen better. The whole thing is is good, and I got to use one. And honestly, out of the three that I'm going to go over, this is the one that I have used the least. But when I did pick it up in the store, because I have not physically had this outside of the store, I didn't really see anything that amazed me on it. There was nothing there that made me want to buy it. Other than, yeah, it's kind of cool, but I've seen it. It's something new. Android, I still truthfully don't believe it's there yet. It's just not. It's good. It's going to be great. It's just not there yet. But here, sporting at $600, is the Motorola Zoom. Of course, you can get your 3G. You can get Wi-Fi. And it is a, a, a let me just double check here, 10.1 inch HD display. And the display is very good. I do have to give it that. But of course there's more than one tablet to be fighting with here. There is the iPad 2, which is what I'm saying, the best of the tablets I've seen. Did it right. Going between the iPad 1 and the iPad 2, there really isn't much difference. They truthfully feel the same, and truthfully the iPad 1 feels more sturdy to me. But Apple's claiming that they have a better like backing to it. So I, you know, I believe Apple. I don't think they're lying to me, but physically, the first one feels better. It might just be because it's thicker. Not real sure. Uh, truthfully, it's not that much thinner. Uh, the camera isn't all that good. It is good enough, but it's not like an HD camera, like I believe they were claiming. It is HD, but not. It doesn't look that amazing. Uh, it's f and yeah, you can get them in white now. There really is nothing. Oh, that's the cover. I'm gonna click right here. There really is nothing too special between the iPad 1 and the iPad 2. But I'm still saying the iPad is the best thing out there. As far as the processor goes too, that was also a big thing. It's not really any faster outside of like games. It's really identical. Uh, you get into games, it's a little bit faster. But truthfully, the processor doesn't even really matter. So the only thing you're really looking at is, yes, it's newer. It's supposedly a little bit tougher. And it's a little bit faster with the camera. The camera's really the only thing new. So that's nice. Uh, starting off at $500, uh, Amazon's a bit overpriced on this one. And this is uh, a little bit smaller than the Zoom with a 9.7 inch display. And it really, the display really is the entire device. But of course, I said there's three, so I'll move on to the Samsung Galaxy Tab. This one I got to use uh, quite a bit. Uh, it is the smallest of the three, which is good. This is the most portable one at um, nine and a half inches. Okay, it's four and a half by half by seven and a half. Oh, it's a seven inch screen. I'm sorry. It's a seven, seven inch display. Uh, yeah, it's very portable and it's also Android like the Zoom is. Definitely a good, a good buy. It's the cheapest. Um, definitely the most portable. I like it better than the Zoom, but not, it's still nothing too special. Really, just after seeing the iPad, everything else is just, it's fighting with it. It's good, but it's not great. That's the thing. And uh, just to give you a comparison on prices, I showed you the three on Amazon. Uh, I also brought up Best Buy here. Here's the Zoom at Best Buy for $600. So prices are the same between Amazon and Best Buy actually Amazon has it for a little bit less and apparently buy.com has it for 588 if you're looking for it it's one dollar cheaper says the invisible hand the zoom like I said something it just doesn't it's nice it just doesn't have a wow factor as far as I'm concerned but I haven't got to use it that much so I might be biased a little bit the iPad I've gotten used the most I really really like it uh, here it is like, once again at Best Buy uh, starting off at Five hundred dollars for the three. Oh, I'm sorry for the Wi-Fi sixteen gig model.
which 16 gig on uh, one of these Apple devices like the iTouch iPhone or iPad is quite a bit. I have an 8 gig um, iTouch, all my music on it, all my music's on it, it's about 4 gig of music, and I have a whole bunch of uh, podcast, audio and video podcast, uh, a movie, and a whole bunch of apps, and I've only taken up roughly 6 or 7 gig. And that's basically everything I have for it and everything I want for it. So 16 gig is definitely plenty. But if you can afford more, definitely go with more. And the last one is the Samsung Galaxy Tab, also at Best Buy. This is the uh, Verizon edition. Uh, there's also a uh, Sprint edition, I think. Uh, the Verizon one is the one I got to play with. So I figured I'd show you the same one I got. Uh, $500. Like I said, cheapest, smallest, most portable. It's nice. It's definitely usable, but if you're going to go with something, I highly recommend the iPad all the way. Uh, this has been Andrew from the Andan Network. Thanks for stopping by and checking out what I had to say. Uh, remember to go back to the YouTube channel if you want. Subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Semicolon.